The molders have arrived. You touch the tank, I most love in the game. Chiefs it, and you can bet I won't play this game anymore. It's incredible how you end our happiness with all tanks over the years. You always create the best tank. Go to hell with your wallet. Nerfing six kilometers? No tanks. I already cancelled my one plus and got a response. Further, I will think of more I will do in response to your crazy ideas. You put down a paper tank like BZ Fins. <laughs> Gee, it's funny that you want to put VZ113 GPT with 42 kilometers against 34 from Chieftain. Never! Well, you can put Chieftain with 10 kilometers. I won't be here to play anymore. There's less than 20 to battle. Talking about changes, of course. The second, third, and tenth to come. You know a lot about this game. <laughs> Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Burning Peak, and in today's video, we are going to be playing in the Chieftain T95 FV201, a vehicle that has apparently been nerfed so bad that it's no longer worth playing. Well, we're going to be putting that to the test in today's video. Has this vehicle truly been nerfed, or is it still a good tank? Well, we're going to be finding out. We're going to be running view range, obviously, as much as I hate getting pegged by artillery. Reverse speed or turret traverse or gun traverse speed with vehicles with stationary cabins. Well, obviously, we're going to be going for reverse speed. And then we have 4% dispersion on move, 4% during hull traverse, but crew protection, stun duration. Oh, man, we're going for the crew protection. As much as I like my on-movement dispersion, we need crew protection. That is an absolutely mandatory thing. All right, well, let's make our way over to equipment. Obviously, I'm going to be running bond equipment because this is the most tryhard tank in the game. So we're going to be doing bond improved hardening, bond rammer, and let's finish it off with, I'm thinking V-stabs. The tank's already pretty quick. However, how about we do an experimental T3? That way we can get V-stabs and mobility paired in the one nice little package and we'll make it even more cringe by doing orderly ammo rack giving us even more dpm then we're going to make our way over to consumables we're going to run food we're going to run a large repair kit and a large first aid kit did i forget to i did i forgot to put the first aid kit on there you go well we got to finish off with our ammunition loadout now this tank does get high explosive that's pretty good so we're going to be doing uh, something like this 14 premium 20 standard and 6 high explosive should get the job done. This tank has pretty bad standard pen, I will tell you that right now. Final thing, we gotta put a camo on it. This tank does not have any unique camos, so I guess we can just put the tank fest camo on it. Unless you wanna put, like, some goofy camo. You know what? Let's just do this one, the... Uh, Kiramori Mine. That looks fine, in my opinion. This tank's kind of goofy looking, if I'm gonna be real. Like, the back of it, I never actually got a good look at this tank, because... Obviously, this is the first time I'm going to be playing it, and it does look kind of goofy. So, we're going to find out just what the Chieftain can do. It is 7.32 in the morning, which might sound normal until you realize that I have not slept at all. Uh, at all. So, I've been up since yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, why not try out what is considered one of the most brain-dead tanks in the game. I haven't even looked at the stats. All I know is that we're going upwards of around 47, 48-ish kilometers per hour. We have a fairly accurate gun with decent damage per minute and a pretty solid armor layout, especially when using gun depression. The crazy part about the Chieftain FE-201 is that it actually features a very well-armored lower plate, and at certain angles, you will actually bounce it. As we can see, it's about 226 base, and that means against high explosive or heat, it's around 230. That's actually pretty good, and it makes this tank surprisingly hard to cut through. And it means when you're using gun depression, this is what you see. I mean, where do you shoot the thing? This is premium ammo. Yeah, good luck. That's your only weak spot there. Everything else is completely red, so yeah. I mean, good luck fighting this vehicle haul down. Let's get in the battle and see what it can do. And there we are in a pretty solid matchup. We have some tier 10s, tier 8s, and 9s up against us. Oh boy, those are some nasty tank destroyers, though. Two Contra Car, one Mark II is a very, very scary vehicle. I am going to probably make my way over towards the mountains. There's not really many haul down positions to work on this map. And yeah, we'll see. I usually just go to mountains in my heavies, but obviously it depends where the rest of our team goes as well. 
I'm interested to see how the mobility feels on this tank. Unfortunately, our already got a little bit on our way in the beginning. Doesn't this also 440 alpha? Yes, it does, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, mobility-wise, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't seem that nerfed. We're chilling at 40 right now, and with our T3 turbo, we're still going more than plenty in terms of mobility. I don't really see this being much of a problem at all. But, you know, apparently it's been nerfed. Well... The major one that I know was nerfed was, I think it's penetration may have gotten a bit worse, and uh, maybe the DPM as well, lost a bit of DPM. However, I don't think that's too big of a problem if you still can't pen the vehicle when it's using gun depression, and it has basically no hatch. So, we do have support, but it's not too much support. I'm going to load gold, though. They got some really dangerous tanks, and it's not necessarily like the E5 or the AMX I'm worried about. It's those Contra Caros. Those things feature really, really dangerous guns, and just in general, something I might not want to deal with early game, if that makes sense. Let's make our way over here, and we'll see if enemy tanks... Oh, there you go. We got an E5. Well, he bounces our track. The E5 is way more DPM than me, though, so I'm interested to see if he lets us uh, fight him. Well, we hit him. However, we got hit at Artie. Did we get pen in the lower plate? We did. Just the corner of our lower plate was showing. Oh well. Not that big of a deal. Obviously, on a map like this, it's going to be a little hard for us to hide our lower plate. We have the enemy already aiming in on us and the E5 shot. So we're going to poke the E5 again. Let's see. Come on. Show me your hatch. There you go. 442 into his tank. And just like that, we've already dealt 912. We can also see my reverse is pretty good due to the loadout I have. Oh, we've already shooting at us. Let's step out of the way of the artillery there. Mm, well, we're going to head over here. We're, oh, we got another arty shell at us. Whoa, boy. It's crazy how much the arty's trying to tunnel me in the uh, chieftain. I don't know if they're specifically going for me or not, but I can tell you for a fact that it definitely feels like they are. So we have the enemy AMX. He misses. And what we're going to do... We're going to move up. The Chrysler pens us. However, we hit him back, so it's not that big of a deal. We are going to repair our fuel tanks, though. Fuel tanks are something you do not want to have exposed to your opponents. Oh, boy. There it is. The enemy artillery. So they are definitely going out of their way to tunnel me. I mean, that's a fact. We can see that here. Um, well, we have the enemy AMX. There you go. 459 into his hatch. I mean, obviously, you got to shoot only gold as well when driving this tank. I mean, what else would you do? Obviously, it's a chieftain. All right, well, the AMX is just waiting there. So are we. We're going to move right here, and this should be a pretty good position to hide our lower plate. And just kind of wait. There's no real reason to overexpose, no real reason to overaggress until we see that the enemy AMX has made a move. If I see that AMX get spotted by the turtle or the G-Sor, then I think we can start to move up. But for now, it's better safe than sorry. So we'll just keep on waiting here. We have the E5, we have the TS-54 problem is I just don't have much support here, so I don't want to put myself in a position where we obviously get caught out, especially with there only being a turtle. Oh, there you go. We do have the enemy AMX still over here. Well, I guess I should have been looking. Well, actually, we didn't get spotted, weirdly enough. That's really goofy. Okay, well, if we didn't get spotted, that's good news, because that AMX doesn't really know how to counter me. So let's see if he pokes it again, and if we're able to get a shell into that AMX again. Let's load a standard shell as well. That way, if we do hatch him... We can guarantee the pen. 55A is moving up. That's not a good play if you ask me. Uh, but we'll see. There's the AMX. And... Come on, AMX. Show me your hatch. Show me the money. Come on. Ooh, very close to... It's very close to seeing that hatch. Oh, it's so close. It's right there. It's He's like edging me with his hatch, bruh. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's see what we can do. I'm going to try and move up a bit, and we'll see if I can help this 55A. I don't want to lose a lot of health, though, to the AMX as well. That's something you always got to keep in mind. So we're going to just back up. Oh, we were so close to hitting that. 55A drives out in the open. Not sure if that was worth it for him, but we're going to aim it on the AMX. There you go. Nice shot. It was a bad roll, but we still got the pen out. However, the 55A is not too healthy anymore. Well, oh, that sucks. Okay, let's reload. We're, we're doing fine. I mean, we're, we're still healthy. 
So that's all good. And let's save it on the AM Max. Come on. Come on. Ah! What is this 55A doing, bruh? And why is he not dead? What am I looking at here? Alright, well, I'm just going to push up and help out the 55A if he's going to make that maneuver. Let's see. We got the Chrysler in the back. And AMX shoots. There you go. One easy shell. Bro, that AMX is actually going to tunnel me? That's crazy. Well, uh, let's aim it on the AMX. And... There you go. Easy clear. Let's angle towards the Chrysler before he has the opportunity to shoot me. And because he already has a shell, we're just going to load in a standard shot to not waste our very precious premium rounds. There you go. Easy clear. Our team is not doing very well this game. I can tell you that quite confidently. But we're naming on the TS-54. There you go. 440 shell into his tank. Oh, boy. Well, oh, the already misses me. Sucks for you. I mean, this is still winnable. This is quite winnable, if you ask me. And we're going to use that, you know, awful mobility as the YouTube videos. Or not the YouTube, but you know what I mean. The terrible mobility this tank has. And make our way up here. I'm just trying to save my waffle from dying because I do not want bro to die. So let's move on up. And see ya. There you go. Easy stuff so far. Let's make our way towards the Iron Army. Try to help out our TS-60 and uh, see what we can do. We're not up to a crazy amount of damage, but 3,600 is still pretty good. And we should actually be able to win this if we play everything right. We got a full health TS-60. The Iron Arnie looked like he was going to head over this way. So we'll have to see if he actually tries making his way up here. Come on over here, Iron Arnie. Play with me, buddy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now it looks like he's going to run away as fast as he can. He's going to get shot by the TS-60 once. And we're going to poke the Iron Arnie. There you go. Nice 433. I do not think he enjoyed that. Unfortunately, our TS-60 missed the shot. But we did get a very lucky bounce from the T-95. Oh, we got the artillery shooting at us. Oh, we got more artillery shells firing at us. Crazy stuff. This Iron Arnie is not going to escape me. I'm telling you now. Bro's going to run as fast as he can, but he is not the gingerbread man. All right, here we go. Let's even load gold, because I know the Iron Arnie can actually be a surprisingly hard vehicle to penetrate. So let's keep going. Actually, you know what? If he's going to show me his rear... Oh my god, stop stunning me, bruh! We can't kill him if we're stunned. All right, let's just uh, bait the Iron Arnie into the open, and I'm hoping that he has... There you go, beautiful. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you gonna keep shooting me in your artillery? Uh-huh, okay. Well, let's just hope the TS-60 gets the clear, because I can't thank you. I can't do anything when I'm constantly being stunned. Artillery is literally the most rat freaking. Oh boy, here it comes again! Whoa! I can't. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm literally gonna go out of my way to go kill those artillery. They are so annoying. I mean, whatever. Thankfully, we have the TS-60 who helps us, but... It's just, it's so freaking rat to deal with artillery every second of your life. Uh, I already know if we try and fight this T-95, we're going to get pegged up the butt by 30 arty shells. Well, we got plenty of time. We got six minutes left, so we got the Sama spotted off on the flank over here. And see ya. He actually pens us. Rather surprising. I'd like to see the artillery hit me from this angle. I'd be... Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, you little douche. All right, let's move up. And uh, see if we can do anything. Let's repair our stuff. And, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, darn. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Won't miss you. Okay, we got the T-95 above us. And we're going to make our way to another artillery. Where did he go? Let's unravel the mystery. I mean, I will kill the T-95, but I'm finding this Hardy first. I know exactly where he is. Bro's sitting somewhere over here, and he thinks he's special. Well, he's going to be special, Ed, in a moment. Again, I don't really see where the, uh, where the nerf on this tank is existing, because this game, it really didn't seem to be nerfed. We did 4,700 damage, we blocked a decent amount, and we're going to get a win. The tank seems pretty mobile. I don't really have much to complain about here, so... I have a feeling that already. Oh, we'll see. He could be over there. Nope, he is not behind us. Okay. 
Well, then he's over here. We're just going to go and try to kill the T-95 at this point. He obviously knows where we are, so I am expecting to receive a shell very, very soon. So I'm going to load gold, and we're going to see where that 95 is. Where did he go? I would have expected that 95 to sit somewhere around here because it would be a pretty easy shot, but we'll see. We will see. Come on. Where are you, buddy boy? Hmm. I mean... Where is our waffle going, bro? I'm so confused. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to make my way up here. And I don't know where the T-95 went. Alright. Here's my thoughts. I'm going to jump down this way. And I'm going to move over here in a way that I don't think the T-95 would be expecting. I don't know where he went. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm actually confused. He has to be in this corner over here. That would be my guess. He has to be over here. Same with the, the arty. I bet you they're both in this corner. Oh, there's the arty. Well, we missed the first shot. Unfortunate. But, um, I probably shouldn't have fired a gold shell at that. But it's alright. We are going to kill this arty. I'm telling you right now. Bro is not going to survive this. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Come on. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? Well, die. Bye-bye. See ya. Don't want to be ya. All right, where's the T-95? Well, he's got to be somewhere over here. Uh, or not. I seriously, I'm so confused on where this guy went. Because I would have thought... He's got to be somewhere over here. What? I, it's a T-95! Where could you drive a T-95 that I... There? There. That's where he went. How did we miss him? He must have jumped off, bruh. Oh, my rat. All right. Well, here we go. All the way back to the other side of the map. Okay, we've made it over here. We still have two minutes left. I have a feeling the T-95 went somewhere back there. Oh, no, nope, he's right there. Interesting. Well, um, hopefully our TS-60 doesn't die. Because we still have a decent amount of time to get there. I don't know what's going on. I can't really tell you. But, hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like our ts 60 is doing a great job. I'll tell you that. Please don't get shot again. Keep on going, keep on going. Okay, he does get a shell out. Is he outmaneuvering him? It's hard to really tell what's going on here. TS-60's just kind of running away. And we're moving up now. Aiming, aiming. Chonk, 504 shot, pretty good. That leaves the T-95 on 290 hit points. So, I'm just going to wait... Okay. Let's wait. And... Come on. Come on, you can get him. I believe. I don't have premium shells, so you gotta kill him. There you go. Yeah, I was out of premium. So, there you go. That worked well. 5,600 damage, 6 kills... And I think that's a pretty good game for the Chieftain. The gun is accurate. The DPM is still solid. The mobility is great. And the armor works like a charm. I mean, obviously on flat ground, it's nothing crazy. But it's insane to me how people can complain about a vehicle getting nerfed when it is still an incredibly powerful vehicle. Oh no, my overpowered tank is no longer as overpowered, even though it's still impossible to cut through hull down, still has an accurate gun, still has great DPM. Like, what? How fast does this thing go? You have 45 with the 20 revert. I don't... People are so freaking stupid, bro. Either way, hopefully uh, all of you enjoyed today's video. Thought I'd make a little quick short on the Chieftain T95. This is my only game I've played in it, and uh, it was a pretty good game. I don't plan to play this tank much because it is such a cringer, but uh, yeah, the, the tank's a little stupid. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.